Welcome to the RapperspellWeb.net Quick Start Guide. I'll show you how to add as you type and dialog spell checking to your ASP.NET web applications. First, let's start Visual Studio and create a new project. For this demo, we're going to create an empty .NET 4.5 web application. Next, we add the appropriate references. Right click your project and select Add Reference. Locate the kiyote.rapperspellweb.asp.net DLL. As our project is targeting the .NET 4.5 framework, we need to select the DLL with v4 at the end. Users targeting the .NET 2 framework will just need to select the DLL with v2 at the end. Next, we just add a web form to the project. Add a text box to the page and change the style as required. We are just going to enlarge the text box and change the text mode to multi-line. Next, we just need to copy the JavaScript files to our project. The easiest way to do this is to open the RapperspellWeb.net installation folder Select the Kyoto Wrapper Spell Web Common folder and drag it to your project's Solution Explorer. Next, let's change the view so we can see the page source. From the Solution Explorer, expand the Kyoto Wrapper Spell Web Common folder and drag the Wrapper Spell AYT.js file to the page. This automatically adds a script tag with the correct path to your page. That's it, we can now run the application and spell check any text box on the page. Spell checking can be disabled on specific text boxes by adding the attribute no spell equals true to the text box. To set up dialog spell checking, we follow the same steps as before, except we drag the wrapper spell dialog.js script to the page. To check all text boxes on the page, we just need to add a small line of code in the button click handler. To spell check specific text boxes on the page, you can add an array of text boxes to check. Now just run your application.